So, Ian, what's your favorite piece of equipment in your tank right now? <laughs> Not a sponsored video yet. But I yet. love the Red Sea mat. It's just ridiculously good. I know. He tells me a lot about it. You plumb it straight from the overflow into the thing at the side. All the water passes through. It collects the poop. And then on the fleece, right? So it's like this toilet roll thing and it rolls. And then if it gets clogged because of crap yeah. debris, I think it's like under 200 nanometers. I mean, above 200 nanometers it collects it. And then they get, not nanometers, sorry, 200, what's the thing? Microns, UM. 200 microns. Yeah. So then it will move, right? It will get clogged. And then the water level will rise. And then once it hits the optical sensor, it will tell the unit to move. So when the mill is used, the water goes back down. Literally like and then the water, paper. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So it wipes your ass, like, wipes your tank's butt on like, you know, constantly. So it's not like a filter sock, right? No. If you have a lot of stuff going on the filter sock, Just it gets flats. trapped at the end of the filter sock. And if you don't change your filter sock or wash it every day, mm you're in trouble. Yeah. So I never have to change a filter sock. Again, that's great. Although the usage of my mat is very high. <laughs> I feed my tank a lot. It's like All six the time, days. all the time. I have an MPS reef and I feed it all the time. So like my 1200 unit, the bigger one, lasts like five, six days. So like I had dinner with him and the alarm keeps growing yeah. off. And then he's like, wait, 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 wait. I got to feed. I got to Oh yeah, yeah, I was feeding the tank. Yeah, so. Yeah. It's so a great wonder. piece of equipment. It can get a bit pricey if you use it very often. But some people say that it, their, their roll, like mm. one roll lasts like, it's like 114 feet, the roll. And it lasts for like a month or more. Which okay. is like amazing. You never have to change. You know, it's just, it's not even that loud. It just goes for like, you know, five seconds and then it stops. Okay. This is just great. So wait, see you on a sponsor. Yes. And it's like, it keeps the water, you know, together with your carbon and your UV, just, just wipes out all the particulate. It's like a skimmer. It's like a pre-filtration. It just mm. gets stuff out of the way before it degrades. Okay, it so what you're talking water. about is actually the mechanical filter part. Yes, yes. And because it's automated, yes. that's why you think it's like super easy, right? Yeah. So okay, the options for non red sea users it's are... Clary C. Yeah, Clary C, uh, Deltec, and I believe Barber Magus? I don't know. They, they probably have it as well. But anyway, um, it's just replacing cotton or socks option. Um, of which this one you throw away and this one you have to wash every two days, three yeah. days. Um, either, more manual lah. Either non-habitat friendly or pain yes. Both pain yes. Um, the only thing is that the red seed is quite large. It's pretty large footprints, like a, yeah. like a foot. Oh. Okay, and another thing. If it breaks down, for whatever reason, then you won't have a filter. Unless you build a tee off to make no, sure no, that the water you can still comes down and goes to the skimmer. It's still correct, in the correct. Same but you won't get the mechanical. But, but that's true trap. for any piece of. If my skimmer breaks down, it's the same, right? Yeah, yeah. But then the first layer would. Oh ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the first layer of. But it, it is like bonus protection. You know? Correct. So it's if more... I were to help you build, I'll definitely build with the red sea and a T off in case something breaks down. You still get some form of mechanical filter by a cotton or a sock, just an extra. I don't want to socks in my tank. Yeah, okay. But fair enough. But for me, it's it's just bonus. It's a bonus. Okay, kit, la, kit. but anyway, yeah, if, as long as you can be It's great. It I, I just never want another... It's so easy to disassemble. It, it can break into individual parts, you know? Like, the whole thing can be like, stripped down individual parts. And I'm pretty sure someone on some forum has the 3D printing file for this nodule or this <laughs> thing. And if you do have it, please tell me because I you know, yeah, never you know. Yeah, right? you and your Because like, friends. some of the... It's like a little gadget that's thing you can 3D print that that's fine probably Red Sea probably made a lot of money just selling those parts like I lost this thing you know sell it to me okay so that's your newest gadget now yeah fun I like gadgets it's fun <laughs>